Welcome back to Learn Chinese with Rushan. This is Rushan, and welcome back to another episode of Mini Grammar. Today's topic is about the structure the plus guo to express somebody have done something or experienced something before. So today we are going to look at fifty sentences of guo. This video should be relevant to everyone. You will surely take away some new expressions from these sentences, or you can use these sentences to learn some new words, or refresh, or review some of the words you might have learned before, but in a new context. So, but in a different context. So let's read this sentence together now. And if you do like my videos, please subscribe my channel. So the first usage is the most generic one. It is used to express that somebody have experienced something before in general. For example, sentence number one: 我在出版社工作过. I've been work in a publishing house. 我在出版社工作过. Sentence number two: 我去过几次他的演唱会. I've been a few times to his concert. 我去过几次他的演唱会. Number three. 在英国的时候,我骑过一次马. When I was in England, I have ride a horse one time. So in all these sentences, the guo expressed that somebody have experienced something in general. The second usage is that there are some very basic verbs that they use with guo, but we can see how guo was adding a sense of another meaning or another layer of the meaning to those sentences. So sentence number four, 我没说过这句话. I have not said that sentence. It means that I didn't say it. I didn't say that. 我没说过那句话. Sentence number five. 你有没有想过? Have you ever thought of something? So 想 is to think. 想过? Have thought of something before. So 你有没有想过? It means that have you ever thought of something? Like have this thing ever comes to your mind? 你有没有想过? Number six. 你试过吗? Have you ever tried? Have you tried? 你试过吗? 我试过了. I've tried. So maybe it doesn't work. 我试过了. So now did you see the sense of adding 过 after this kind of basic verbs? Like what kind of sense you have? Number seven. 我有过很多老师. I have had a lot of teacher. Or 我有过 一个老师, I have had only one teacher. So is that you? Which is your case? Have you have a lot of teacher? How many teacher you have had before? 你有过几个老师? Sentence number eight. 我问过了. I have asked. 你问过了吗? Have you asked? 是的,我问过了. Yes, I have already asked. So I have the answer because I have asked. The third usage, let's see some sentence with the negative form. If we use the negative form of guo, it means that somebody have never done something before or somebody haven't done something after a specific time. The first case, for example, sentence number nine. 这个杯子从没被洗干净过. This cup have never been washed clean. 这个杯子从没被洗干净过. Sentence number 10. 这个房间从没有人住过. This room, no one have lived here before. 这个房间从没有人住过. Number 11. 他没上过学. He have never went to school. As in, he never educated in school. 他没上过学. These cases, they are always used with words like 从来, 从没, never, 从未, a formal way to say never, 从来没有. 
an expanding form of 从没. The second case is to express that you haven't done something since. For example, sentence number 12. 我好久没这样病过了. I haven't been so sick for so long. I was having a running nose, I was having a sore throat, and everything comes together. It's been a long time that I haven't been so sick. 我好久没这样病过了. Sentence number 13. 然后我再也没说过中文了. Since after then, I haven't spoken any Chinese. 然后我再也没说过中文了. Sentence number 14. 以后我就没和他联系过. After that, I haven't contacted her since. 以后我就没和他联系过. As you can see, in this case, they collocate with words like 再也没, never again, 好久, for a long time, 以后, or 然后, like after that, after then. Now, what I want you to do is to think of something that you haven't done for a long time, like after a specific time. Write down your sentences, comment down below, I will check the sentence and get back to you. The fourth usage of the structure verb plus guo is to express that somebody have already done something. In the context of maybe he should do something or he was supposed to do something and he already did it, so we use this structure to express that. Let's see some daily life sentences. Number 15. 我们已经见过了. We already met. Maybe somebody trying to introduce me to another person and I told her, we already met. 我们已经见过了. Number 16. 他上午找过你. He had looked for you in the morning. Maybe another person was calling or come to the office to looking for the person I was talking to. So that in the afternoon, I told to this person that I was talking to. 他上午找过你. He had looked for you in the morning. Number 17. 这件衣服我烫过了. This clothes I have already ironed means that I have already ironed this clothes, so you don't need to. Now, what I want you to do is to change the last sentence, 这件衣服我烫过了, to a question form. So again, write down your sentence down below in the comment and I will get back to you. Sentence 18, 我打过电话了, I have already called, I have called. 我打过电话了, so... Don't judge me or don't think that I haven't called yet. So these four sentences, they all have the sense of somebody should do something and he already do it. So he used the structure go to express that. Can you make a sentence out of this? I will surely check your sentences and give feedback on that. The last usage, let's see some embedded sentence, meaning more complicated structure, but they are just so interesting to see. Number 19. 学过钢琴的人都会弹这首歌 People who have learned piano before know how to play this song 学过钢琴的人都会弹这首歌 Number 20 在我们学过的诗歌中 你最喜欢哪首? Among all of the poems that we have learned Which is your favorite? 在我们学过的诗歌中 你最喜欢哪首? So 诗歌 is poem and 首 is the measure word or classifier for poem. Now I have a question for you. Number 21 在你做过的事情中 最有创造性的是什么? Among all of the things that you have done what is the most creative one? So again, tell me your answers. Put it down in the comments below and I will get back to you. Sentence 22 这是之前考试出现过的词语 So basically this sentence means that this is a word that have appeared in the past exams. 这是之前考试出现过的词语 The same sentence we can say it in another way. 这个词语之前考试出现过 This word have already paired 
in the past exams. 这个词语之前考试出现过。Until now, I have already finished all of the five usages that I want to explain today. Now I'm going to show you some more sentences that I have chosen for you. These sentences they're just so fun to see and read on. So let's see them together. Twenty-three. 每个人都曾经年轻过 Everyone has been young once. 每个人都曾经年轻过 Number twenty-two. 很多人都得过这个病 Many people have got this disease before. 很多人都得过这个病 Twenty-five. 我从来没给别人说过这件事。I have never spoke about this thing to other person. 我从来没给别人说过这件事。Basically, it means that I've never told anyone this thing. Twenty six. 他从小到大没自己洗过衣服。He has never washed clothes himself since little. 他从小到大。没自己洗过衣服。Twenty seven， 我没想过学校可以这样漂亮。I've never think of a school can be beautiful like this. 我没想过学校可以这样漂亮。Now this is a very useful expression for you to say. I have never think about something. Like 我没想过 whatever blah blah blah. So many times I ask some questions to my students. And my students just say they will think and say, 我没想过这个问题 I've never thought of these questions before. These questions have never come across in my mind. 我没想过这个问题 This is also a very good sentence for you. So whenever another person asks you something, you could reply, 我没想过这个问题 I've never think of that questions before. Number twenty-eight. 他刚哭过 He just cried. He just cried one minute ago. 他刚哭过 Number twenty nine. We are going to see 听说过 versus 听过 Now, 听说过 means you have heard of something. 听过 means that you have listened something before. Number twenty nine. 你听说过 something 吗 It means that have you ever listened like a term, this thing? 你听说过 Something, ma. Number thirty. 我从小听过很多战争年代的故事 Since young, since little, I've listened a lot of stories in war times. 我从小听过很多战争年代的故事 So in here, 听过 means I have listened something before. I've listened a story. I've listened a song. Number thirty one. 可能你没听过 Natasha 唱摇滚 Maybe you haven't listened Natasha singing rock. 可能你没听过 Natasha 唱摇滚 So maybe Natasha was another kind of singer other than rock musician. At number thirty-two, I like this sentence very much. 我没见过她，我只看过她的照片。没见过他的真人。I haven't seen him before. I've only have looked at his picture, but I haven't seen him in person. I like this sentence because we can see how the structure 过 was used three times in one sentence, and also how do we express seeing somebody in person. 我没见过他，我只看过他的照片。没见过他的真人。So in Chinese, to see somebody in person, it's 见 somebody 的真人。Number thirty-three is a very funny and old Chinese idiom. It is called 没吃过猪肉，还没见过猪跑吗 ？So the literal meaning is that you have never eaten a pork, but haven't you seen pigs running? So this is kind of like a joke, slightly sarcastic, and it is used to say that maybe somebody haven't experienced something by himself, but he or she should have some ideas about that. 
and with this vivid image and picture, you kind of can tell that this is from an old time in which pork, eating pork is still a luxury. And also you have this like image or picture that it's in a farm and or it's in a village that the pigs are running around. So that is our idioms. 没吃过猪肉,还没见过猪跑吗? Number 34,这个词我们学过的 now this is what I would say to my students. 这个词我们学过的, this word we have learned it before. Or the same idea we can put the sentence like 我们学过这个词的, we have learned this word. So you should have remembered it. Number 35, this is also a very interesting sentence. 我从没说过这么多话, I've never said so many words before. I have never said so many words before. 我从没说过这么多话. Now this is also a very universal expression. For using this structure, you can express that I have never bought so much clothes. I have never stayed for so long. I've never eaten so much delicious food. I've never been a place so far. I have never drank that much. Like, or this kind of expression, you use the structure. 我从没, verb, this much, 这么多, a noun. 我从没说过这么多话, I've never said so many words before. 我从没去过这么远的地方, I've never been to a place that is so far. 我从没喝过这么多酒, I've never drank so much wine before, etc, etc. 36. 除了老师,我什么也没干过. Other than teacher, I haven't done anything else. Like I haven't done any other jobs other than teacher. 除了老师,我别的什么也没干过. 37, now this is a very true sentence. It's like fixed for myself a lot. 我的计划一次也没完成过. I haven't finished even one time my plan. My plan haven't been finished even one time. 我的计划一次也没完成过. Like even for this video, I have already promised myself I'm going to do this video, the 50 sentence of guo, this video, like one month ago, and then I'm doing it now. It's so much for behind my schedule and plan. 38. 有人做过统计 Somebody have made some statistics about something. 有人做过统计 39. I have promised your father. 我答应过你父亲. Number 40. 中国尚未出版过他的书. China has not yet published his book. 中国尚未出版过他的书. 41. 我教过一个学生. Blah blah blah. So, I have taught one student and then I continue to talk about him or her. 我教过一个学生 42 很多人问过我同样的问题 Many people have asked me the same question 很多人问过我同样的问题 The same sentence we can say it like 我被问过很多次这个问题 I have been asked many times these questions 43 我不止一次告诉过你 I have told you more than one time. 我不止一次告诉过你. 44. 努力过就好了. It's okay if you have tried. So if somebody who is complaining, Oh, I fell again. Oh, the things haven't been turned out so good. Then you can say to him, 努力过就好了. 45. 我在楼梯上 见过他几次. I've seen him a few times in the elevator. 我在楼梯上见过他几次. Now this is very useful if you want to express your experience with somebody. So maybe, so maybe somebody asks you, do you know her? So you can say, yeah, I've with her. Maybe I have spoken with her. 
I have been to her house, I have went to dinner with her. So that is one way to say you have experience with somebody. Number 46. 我没试过草莓酱和花生酱一起吃. I have never tried eat peanut butter and strawberry jam together before. 我没试过草莓酱和花生酱一起吃. I remember that. So the first time somebody gave me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich by an America was in was when I was hiking in England. 47. 他演过很多成功的电影. He had played a lot of successful movies. 他演过很多成功的电影. 48. 他帮过我很多忙. He have helped me a lot. He had helped me a lot of times. 他帮过我很多忙. 49. 在你的身边有没有发生过这种事? Have this kind of thing ever happened around you? 在你的身边有没有发生过这种事? So 在你的身边 means around you. 在somebody的身边, around somebody. Our last sentence of the day, I want to end with the sentence. Number 50. 在今天我们看过的句子中,你最喜欢哪个? So among all of the sentences that we have seen today, which one is your favorite? Now, if you have stayed and watched until now, I want to give you a big thank you. So write down your answers to my questions down below the comments, and I will surely will get back to you. So that is all of the content of today's structure. Well, plus score. Are you having fun with that? Tell me what you think and if you have more questions of that. I hope you enjoyed the videos today and if you do like it, please subscribe my channel and I will see you next time. 再见!